Tara Land, and you're watching CountyLife.TV. I'm here today with Sergio Armaz. He's from Crockett, Texas, and he's a clothing designer. So, Sergio, tell me, how did you start designing clothing? Well, I started um, my junior year of college, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I started because of the fact that whenever I was younger, I would see my mom. She would make curtains or tablecloths for the house. She was always very handy with the sewing machine, and I would just kind of see what she was doing and, you know, learn just by looking. But um, I didn't start until my junior year. And you didn't start sewing at all? Until no, your year. until my junior oh, year. Wow. Did not touch the sewing machine until my junior year. And I, one Christmas I was like, Mom, Dad, I want a sewing machine and a mannequin. And they kind of looked at me like, you are crazy. <laughs> so um, that's how it began. And just from there I started one dress and then I kind of didn't like it. So I was just kind of put it aside and didn't touch it until like maybe half a year later. And then here we are today. So oh it's kind of crazy. Um, and what inspires you with the clothing that you design? What inspires me? Well, I think the main reason why I love it is because of the fact that whenever I reveal a dress to any girl, because mostly I'm an evening wear or prom, pageant, whatever, um, I'm that type of designer and whenever I reveal a dress to them, just that sparkle in their eyes that they're just so happy and they love it and they cannot wait to put it on. I think that's what really pushes me to keep I'm going. I'm sure. And then the fact that when they put it on and they're like, oh my goodness. I mean, they become a princess almost. Right, right. And I'm sure that has to be such a good feeling for you as well as for them. And I'll share in that. Yes, and that's something that I cannot even explain. It's just... Amazing. So has it been... What has it been like being from a small community and stepping out into the design world? It's been kind of different. It's been kind of strange because, I mean, let's be honest, living in Crockett, you don't get exposed. We have a bell, so that's mm -hmm. great, but we don't really get exposed to much, you know, the fashion community and stuff like that. But it's been hard, you know, especially putting your work out there for like a lot of people to see. And with this competition, it was my first one, and it's the first time that anyone has seen really my work in a larger scale. It's, it's been difficult. And it's been well received. Oh, well, I, I believe it has. Um, and let's talk about the competition a little bit. So okay. this is a competition in Dallas that right. you're doing, and it's a formal wear competition. Right, our challenge. So how did you get involved with that? Oh, well, um, one of my models, I did a mini photo shoot like during my senior year of college. Um, and one of my models, her name is Kenzie Kent. Mm -hmm. She kind of introduced me to the competition. And she told me all about it, but I was just kind of like, okay, you know. I don't think I'm ready for that type of thing just yet. And then one weekend over the summer, I was like, I have a really good friend in Dallas, her name is Alexa, and I just go and visit her often and stuff. So I went to go visit her, and it just so happened that that day was the day of the first meeting for the Terry Pasta Catwalk Design Competition. And I just kind of was like, okay, I'll go find out about it, and um, went and found out. And I kind of didn't think I was going to do it because it just, living in Crockett, that commute, we had to go through to like five different rehearsals and I don't think I was going to be able to do it, but it just worked out, so. And and so now the competition, it's a, a lot of it is a Facebook competition, is that right. correct? Partially is a Facebook competition, but um, we did have judges. Um, mm -hmm. One of the judges was a representative for Tony Bowles. One, another one was um, just different fashion people in the Dallas community, but the main, you know, one of the most important ones was that representative for Tony Bolt. So their score counts for part of the, part of the, I guess, the the, the winner. The, the winner. The total. Right, the total. And then part of it is the Facebook and then the in-store vote. You can vote inside the I store. I see. Well, we certainly want to urge all of our watchers to log on to Facebook and it's the Terry Costa Facebook page and you have until midnight on Sunday to ver vote for Sergio. He is designer number eight and tell us a little bit about the dress Sergio. Well the dress is gold but it kind of has like a um, black net over it and I kind of did these horizontal stripes um, on the bodice and then sweetheart top 
and it is it has a peplum. I'm kind of obsessed with peplums right now. Well, they're and they're of, very in right now. Right, too. they're super in right now. So hopefully um, that kind of works in my favor. But it has a peplum, and um, the cool thing about the dress is that you really get two dresses in one. Um, you have this kind of glamorous. I, I don't think it's a ball gown. It's more like a. It's an A-line skirt. Mm -hmm. So you have this really glamorous floor-length A-line skirt. And then, you know, since it is for prom, and we know prom girls, they like to look great, and then they like to dance, and they like to have fun. So if you just want to dance, you can just rip off that long skirt, and then the mini skirt is revealed. And it's just, you know, you get two dresses in the That water, is so. incredible. Um, and what type of material did you use for the dress? Well, the base material is a gold satin. And gold satin. Yes. Okay. But I'm not... Number one, I'm not a fan of gold. Uh -huh. Number two, I'm not a fan of satin. Well, then why did you pick these <laughs> fabrics? Because I think as a designer, it's important to kind of challenge myself. Uh -huh. So working with gold was a huge challenge for me. And then especially satin, because if you if you wear a satin dress, you kind of see every single mm -hmm. bump, every single everything. So I think it was important to put the tool over it so that it would just kind of hide those things. It wouldn't be so shiny. Oh, that's... So. Very innovative because that also broadens the audience of who could right. wear your dress. Right. Because I typically avoid satin because mm -hmm. it shows. It shows a lot. Thing. It's very unforgiving. Right. Um, but then with the netting, and the netting makes it look so like unusual. It's it's mm -hmm. very innovative. It's Thank a beautiful you. dress. Thank you. And uh, so, what's next for you? What's next? Well, because of this, a lot of people have been contacting me and wanting dresses mm -hmm. and. Um, Right now, I am working on three wedding gowns, okay. so it's kind of crazy to even think that I'm working on a wedding dress, but I am working on a wedding gown and uh, just kind of see where this takes me. I guess so. it's picking up the, the first competition you're in and suddenly you're, you're in business. Right. You never thought that would happen, did no, you? No, so not exciting. at all. So. Well, everyone, please, we again urge you to log on to Facebook, to the Terry Costa Facebook page, and vote for Sergio. He is designer number eight, and it is a beautiful dress. And once again, we thank you for watching countylife.tv.